and welcome to another episode of Dream Home Cooking. Today I have a delicious menu. It's full of Chinese food, but it's a little bit healthier for you than what maybe you would get in a restaurant, a lot less sodium and a lot less butter. So I'm gonna share my sweet and sour chicken recipe with you guys, also fried rice and some sauteed cabbage and onion. And then I have the most special guest ever that's gonna be joining me to make her famous egg rolls and that will be my mother. So um, we're gonna go ahead and get started with the chicken first so we can get in the oven because it takes about an hour to cook so what I've done these are chicken thighs and you can certainly use chicken breasts but I like to use the chicken thighs because it's a tender cut of meat it is a little fatty so I tried to cut all the big fat pieces off of it and I seasoned it with salt pepper garlic powder and onion powder on one side and now I'm gonna transfer it to my baking dish so I can season the other side. And these are the boneless, skinless chicken thighs. So I'm just gonna place these in this baking dish. This is one of the simplest recipes ever, and it's so delicious. These chicken thighs, you'll be able to cut with a fork. All right, so I'm gonna just do a little salt on each one, and then a little coarse ground pepper, and then of course my garlic powder and onion powder. Okay. And then the next step, over here I have eight ounces of apricot preserves. Sounds crazy what I'm getting ready to put in here, but I promise you it makes the most delicious sweet and sour chicken. So I've already got the preserves in the bowl. Now I have a, um, an eight ounce bottle of Russian dressing. So I'm gonna just pour this whole bottle in here. It makes the most wonderful sweet and tangy sauce on this chicken. And then lastly, I've got an envelope of Lipton onion soup, the dry soup. And I'm just gonna take a fork and just stir this for two or three minutes and make sure that it's all stirred real well together. And this is the sauce. All right, so this is stirred and ready to go. Now the last step is to just spoon, well actually I'm just gonna pour it all over the chicken thighs. Just pour it evenly and then I'll come back and spread it with the spoon. And halfway through the baking process, I do like to open up the oven, take it out, and um, just kind of baste it. Just spoon the sauce over the chicken. This seems to be a real kid pleaser, too. All right. So just make sure you get each chicken thigh covered with that delicious sauce. And then I'm going to take a piece of foil, and I'm going to cover it and I'm gonna bake it at 350 for 45 minutes. Then I'll uncover it and bake it another 15 minutes. So a total of one hour. So I'm gonna get this in the oven at 350 for an hour and I wanna go ahead and get started on my cabbage. Okay, so heating up here is two tablespoons of sesame oil and two tablespoons of real butter. And this is so simple, but it's delicious. If you never eat cabbage, I encourage you to try this recipe because it's really, really good. So I've got one head of cabbage that I washed and then just basically um, shredded. And it doesn't take very long to cook this because you don't want it too wilted. You want it to have a little bit of a crunch to it. And then I have one onion that I just sliced into large pieces like that. All right, and then I need my salt and pepper. I'm gonna put about a teaspoon, teaspoon and a half of pepper and salt. And you can always come back and taste it, see if it needs a little more. And then I have a little soy sauce. And you just kinda eyeball this, maybe two tablespoons of soy sauce. And then, a tablespoon of white sugar, and that sort of takes any bitterness that's maybe in the cabbage, takes it out. And then you just wanna have it on high, and you just wanna keep stirring it until that cabbage cooks down and the onions get soft. So you just wanna stand over this and just watch it real good and continue to stir it for about seven or eight minutes, and then it'll be cooked. You can turn it off, put it to the side, and always reheat it a little bit later to serve with everything else. One other ingredient I like to put in this is, it's a teriyaki basting glaze. It's a real thick sauce, so you don't need a lot, 
but I just put about a tablespoon and it just kind of gives it that sweet teriyaki flavor. And it sort of helps to caramelize those onions and cabbage as well as the sugar will help to caramelize the onions too. All right, guys, this is ready. It took about seven or eight minutes. The cabbage is tender, the onions are soft, and it smells delicious. So this is done. So I'm turning it off and I'm gonna set it to the side. We're gonna take a break and when we come back, my sweet mama is gonna be here to show us how she makes her delicious egg rolls. In choosing a contractor in today's market, you know, finding someone that is going to take care of you and make sure that you're happy with your product, with the quality. It's not an easy task today. The most important thing to me is doing what you say you can do, taking care of the customer, installing a, a, a product that is superior. My motto is call the lady with a team you can trust and I feel confident that we are a team that you can trust. There's something about carpet that gives a room a warm, soft feeling. Our carpet also gives you something else, peace of mind. All of our exclusive carpet brands are made in the USA and come with a lifetime warranty. So feel free to live your life exactly the way you want. Get your soft carpet from the flooring experts at Woldy Flooring. Visit our new showroom in Madison, locally owned since 2002. My father started this business in 1977. The people that work for us is part of what sets us apart. All of our employees have experience. All of our plumbers have been with us for 10 years or greater. Our motto at Dean and Son is quality and service. We're gonna do quality work. We don't leave people hanging. We're there when we're supposed to be. We're done when we're supposed to be. Living up to what you sell and service them after they pay you, that's where your integrity in the plumbing business comes. Dean and Son Plumbing Company. Call today at 518-9780. All right, we're back and I have my sweet mama. Her name is Kathy and she's been on the show with me before, but it's been a long time. It but has. I'm so glad to have her back and we all took a family beach vacation a couple weeks ago. The whole family, we had a ball and mom made these one night and everybody raved over them. The grandkids loved them, we all loved them. They were delicious and I said, mom, I'm thinking about doing a show soon that's a whole episode of Chinese food. So will you be on it with me? So that's kind of where we are. Hey, thank you for having me. Oh, it's so welcome. good to be back here. Oh, hey, hey, I love I learned, with you. I learned from the best. Aww. This woman is an amazing cook. So, Thank you so all right. Much. So you you told me about these, and I found them in the grocery store. I never even thought to. Look well, that's the thing that has made my life so easy with making egg rolls. I found these. I stumbled upon them in the grocery store one day when I was looking for some mm -hmm. healthy choices. And actually, they're very low fat. There's about 55 calories per egg roll uh -huh. wrapper. And what we're going to cook to put in these is low calorie. It's yeah. Nothing more than vegetables. So basically, it just came out to be an easy process and fun. Good. Even the children can get involved oh, yeah. in making this if they, they want. To. And we're not deep frying them. You're just doing no. A little that's little the so key that's here. Good. Is yeah. we are not going to deep fry, and we're just going to pan fry with a very minimal amount yeah. of oil. Okay. So the first thing that I do usually is I get a package of broccoli slaw. Okay, and I've got that right here. Thank you. And you can find this, of course, where all your vegetables are. Yeah. And and these egg roll wrappers too are in the um, right near this Same stuff, section. the Absolutely. salad by the salad ingredients. So do you do the whole package or I'm just a half? I'm actually just going to do a half a package okay. this time. It just depends on how many you want to make. Okay. You get about 25 egg rolls per okay. packet. So yeah. if you use the whole package, you should have enough to to make all 25. Now what I like to do is heat the oil first and cook this on high. Okay, and it's yeah, it's almost there. And so that's broccoli slaw and then a half of package of just like your red, regular coleslaw mix right. that you would use. So. And what I'll do is stir fry this until all the vegetables are tender, okay. which is about 10, 12 minutes. Yeah. And then I will come back and add my seasoning, which is pepper, garlic powder, soy sauce, sesame seeds, okay. that kind of thing, oh, and then delicious. I'll take this out and start showing you how to wrap the egg roll. Okay. Okay. I have been stir frying this for about 12 minutes now and I've got it to a really nice tender stage and I'm going to add my seasonings now and some soy sauce. I usually add about a tablespoon or two of soy sauce. 
and mom was just telling me how important it is for this to be really soft because you, it needs to be that Absolutely. way when you roll because the egg roll wrappers are so tender, you Absolutely. don't want it to break it. So I put about a tablespoon oh, of sesame delicious. seeds. This is optional. Sometimes I throw a little green onion. I add about a tablespoon of pepper. You can do less or more. It's just a preference. I'm going to turn the fire off. Is this? Uh, yeah, here, I'll turn that off. Okay. And let this sit for just a couple of minutes, and then I'm going to transfer it into a bowl. Okay. And we are going to start our egg roll rolling process. We're going to have a wrapping party. Yes, we are. <laughs> egg roll wrapping party. Okay. Okay, Melissa, we have this all ready to go right, so into this to bowl it? over here. Okay, I'll hold it while you And you can take note this. that this is definitely not a runny thing mm -hmm. going on here. We want uh, dry but moist. Pliable, We yeah. don't want any kind of liquid to resolve in here because it could cause the egg rolls to be runny, okay. and we definitely don't want runny egg rolls. And what about, does it have to cool somewhat? So that Not really. Okay. It can, it okay. can be, I, I have rolled egg rolls with it this warm, and I have let it cool some. It really doesn't matter. Okay. The biggest thing with egg rolls is you definitely want to serve them right after they're cooked, okay. because that's when they're at their best. Now, to start this process, we're going to turn this on a diagonal, so the point is facing me. Okay. And you take about one to two tablespoons of filling. And I love a full egg mm -hmm. roll. I like roll. them skinny too, but <laughs> I like a plump egg roll. No, I'm so excited so, to learn how to make these. Oh, and it's so much fun. It really is fun. Also, you want to have a bowl of cool water handy. Okay. And another thing I want to mention to you, leave the egg rolls in the package as you're wrapping them. Oh, Because okay. the air will dry them yeah, out. Yeah, okay. And okay, you don't want that tip. to happen. Okay. You think of an envelope, you just mm -hmm. kind of wet your fingers take this corner and you bring it over and you stick it. You can get the kids Fun. involved. Yeah, they would love thinking, to do this. Grandkids. Oh, and we've got a little pretty. perfect envelope here and then I'll wet this corner. Okay, I'm feeling intimidated. And I don't look. know if I can do this. Oh, you can do it. It's <laughs> so easy. And as you roll it, look at that. You have a perfect little I mean, egg we roll. Love all sealed, egg rolls. We love sun them sealed and delivered. Sealed. Wow, I mean, I can't believe it's really that Simple. Isn't that simple. I love that. And yeah. I can't wait for you to taste them. I know, they're going to be so delicious. Good. Well, we are going to take a break, and while we're on break, we're going to finish rolling these up, and then when we come back, I'm going to get started on the fried rice, and then mom's going to cook the egg rolls in the skillet when we come back. Since 1983, individuals and businesses in Alabama have relied on Wolf Jones, Conchin, Wolf Hancock, and Daniel for their legal representation. Our experienced attorneys offer high quality legal counsel in commercial law, real estate, and personal injury litigation. So if you need an attorney, hire the best attorney you can. Call the experienced North Alabama attorneys of Wolf Jones, Conchin, Wolf Hancock, and Daniel to arrange your initial consultation because we're dedicated to setting the standard for legal services. At Quality Plus, our motto is don't call three, call me. Because where else can you find North Alabama's finest craftsmen who can handle all of your residential roofing, drywall, and painting needs? At Quality Plus, all work is 100% guaranteed. And no job is too big or too small, whether it's new construction or remodeling. So for your roofing, drywall, and painting needs, don't call three, call me. At Quality Plus Production, 256-990-7578. I had the best dream last night. We were building a new house or remodeling, and I found the most gorgeous tile. Tumbled noche for the master bath, Venetian gold granite for the kitchen, and a beautiful custom backsplash. And while shopping, I ran into Jean-Luc. So, you're heading to Jenkins Brick and Tile today? Yeah. I'll go with you. Jenkins Brick and Tile, Madison Boulevard in Madison. We'll show you the tile of your dreams. Okay, we're back and mom got all the egg rolls rolled up and um, she's going to come back and join me in just a little bit to actually cook them. We'll show y'all how to cook them, but in the meantime, I need to get going on the fried rice. So you want to start with um, two tablespoons of sesame oil and two tablespoons of butter. And then you're going to add one onion chopped, all right, and we're just going to saute this onion for just a few minutes until it starts to soften. Okay, that smells wonderful. 
So the next step is I bought a bag, just a small bag of frozen peas and carrots. And I'm gonna add that. And I did let them thaw. Or you can pop them in the microwave and just heat them until the, get the freeze off of them. I wanted to tell y'all our um, community, our featured community this week is Overland Cove. And it is one of our um, carefree living communities out in the Monrovia area. And it is absolutely gorgeous out there. It is amazing how much it has grown. Such wonderful families live out there and they all love it because there is absolutely no yard maintenance. That's all done for you. They have a beautiful clubhouse with a gorgeous swimming pool and um, just a really neat neighborhood located in an excellent part of town, literally right next to the 565 interchange. So you can get to Research Park, you can get to South Huntsville, just it's a very centrally located area. And I know that Mike will elaborate even more on Overland Cove, but I would definitely encourage you guys to go out and take a look at it. So I've got, uh, these are ready. They're, they're not ready, but they're tender. So now I'm gonna add just a little squeeze, about a teaspoon of minced garlic. All right, so once you get that garlic stirred in there, now I'm gonna turn this heat down just a little bit and I'm gonna push, this is why I love doing this in, a, in the electric skillet because I've got room to work. I'm gonna push these veggies to the side and then I'm getting ready to scramble two eggs. I've already got two eggs and now I'm just gonna add right here. And while those are starting to cook, I'm gonna go ahead and add some salt and some pepper. But you just wanna stir these up just like you're scrambling an egg for breakfast. And it's okay if your few peas and carrots and onion work their way over to the eggs. And once the egg is scrambled, then you just wanna start mixing it all together again. And now at this point, we're ready to add the rice. Now, I cooked way too much rice. This is actually four cups of rice. You only need two, so I'm just gonna basically half this. The important thing about this, it's so much easier to work with if you cook your rice the night before or a couple of hours before, and then pop it in the fridge. It just works better that way. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit more salt, a little more pepper, and then I've got, oh, that is not soy sauce, that's sesame oil, so I'm gonna add some soy sauce and this is about two tablespoons you want to taste it after you stir it up make sure it's to your liking you can always add more and basically this is it for the um, fried rice so I'm gonna let this finish cooking and then mom is gonna join me to finish up cooking the egg rolls okay this is done and I'm just gonna let it sit. Oh man, it smells good in this kitchen, doesn't it? Oh, it smells <laughs> wonderful. That looks ah. absolutely delicious. So you've got all those rolled up? Yes. They already look delicious. Me. Thank oh, you. You know, <laughs> I know, it's, it's very try, simple. It every time. So I have about two tablespoons of oil in the bottom of the skillet. You only need enough to cover, but I like to cook it on a medium high heat. Oh, sorry, here, okay, I'll get you. Is There's that, a medium high right okay. there. Okay. Like so I you, said, they go quick. Do you brown them on Basically the side? about a minute. You have okay. to watch them. It depends on how hot you have your fire, and I like to keep it pretty hot. So, okay. and you gotta be careful. I've burned my fingers a couple of times flipping them. But once they do brown on each side, then I'm gonna flip them all over, okay. and then I'll flip them on their other sides. Okay. So and actually, then, actually you're browning four right. sides. Okay. And then they'll be ready to cut and plate up and serve, and you okay. wanna serve them immediately. Yes, and then done um, with the sauce. I love your idea. It's so simple. She took some apricot preserves and just put a little dollop in these pretty little glasses, and then she's going to put the finished egg roll down in here, and you guys will see right. that in a little bit. But. Okay. Okay, we're going to get these finished up, and then we'll be good to go. Sounds good. And then when we come back, Mike will be with us to eat all this delicious food. When we came to looking for a cabinet company and a uh, manufacturer to use and with Wellborn being the selection. Wellborn has a good foundation within the company and the folks that run their company. And when you have a good foundation, things typically follow suit with that and things will, will stay steady. Their values, I feel like are on a solid foundation. I feel like their true intent is to build a product that will be a lasting product. You're gonna love what you see. Wellborn Cabinets, the essence of cabinetry at Woodland Homes of Huntsville. 
Want to create something extraordinary? Create perfection. Our lifestyle appliances make it easy. GE Monogram, Bob Wallace Appliance, and you, when only the best will do. Well, today we're out at Overland Cove, and it, this is such an exciting community because it, it hits so many markets. It hits our young professional market, it hits our uh, empty nester market, our adult clientele, uh, but also it, it hits our single parent market or, or just single market, and we're really excited about this community. And there's been a tremendous amount of planning that's gone into this particular community. And one of the things that's so unique about it is the fact that we have an urban streetscape design. So our streets are a little bit narrower, but also we have five foot sidewalks throughout the community where most developments only have a three or a four foot sidewalk. And we also have a designated tree planting plan to where in the future it's designed to where as this community matures, you're gonna get an, more of an old town feeling like back in the old days to where the trees canopy over the street. One of the things that people like most about Overland Cove is not only the location, because we have a fantastic location, but it's also the fact that this is a carefree and maintenance-free community. Uh, like today, it feels like we're 100 degrees out here, uh, and our homeowners out here, they don't have to worry about cutting their grass, pruning their shrubs. All of that is part of the overall maintenance program, and that's what we want. We want a resort style uh, of living out here at Overland Cove. As you can see, we have a beautiful clubhouse, uh, also a big junior Olympic swimming pool, and also for a fitness center. Overland Cove is gonna feature uh, two different types of products. It's gonna feature uh, a townhome product, which is uh, a single family home, and they're gonna range anywhere between 1,300 and 1,800 square feet. They're appointed much like our upper end homes for our customers. Very, very detailed, very, very nice finishes on the inside of our homes. And then we have a garden home product. The garden home product is more of a single family product with, uh, with courtyards, fenced in backyards. And the way that we've designed this community um, is that everything has rear entry access uh, via alleys. So that way all of our utility boxes and everything is in the alleys. So that way our streetscape is just absolutely gorgeous. So if you are looking to downsize, and a lot of customers are, Overland Cove is a community that you really need to look at because it's going to give you a great location. It's going to be close to shopping. It's still going to give you a quality, energy efficient product, which is really important these days. But uh, also it's going to give you um, that maintenance free lifestyle that so many people are looking for today. So we currently have our final phase under construction and uh, it too will feature uh, townhomes. Uh, it'll feature also garden homes. Also, we have a special area in the final phase where we're gonna be building single family homes that will back up to a, to a wooded area to where I've donated five acres to the city of Huntsville and they're going to continue their um, greenway trail all the way up to Overland Cove. So in the future, it's going to be fantastic because you can go right down through a common area and you go right down and hit the greenway trail. You can ride your bike to Providence. Uh, eventually, it'll connect with Bridge Street. So the best thing you can do is just to uh, give us a call at 830-9000. We'd be glad to answer any questions that you have. Or you can log on to woodlandhomes.com and view all of our floor plans and information there. But really, the best thing to do is just come out and see it firsthand. Um, it is a great community, and we're open seven days a week out here, so we would love to be able to answer any questions. We have several model homes that we can show you. So we look forward and invite you out uh, to Overland Cove. So we'll see you in the community.
All right, we're back, and as promised, here is Mike Friday with me I'll to come and taste thing. all that does it not smell delicious. As soon as I walked in the door, it would it smells fantastic. So well, I cannot wait to get in, and yeah. I and I've never had your mother's egg rolls. So uh, I'm well, I you am, didn't get to have them at the beach like we all did. Yeah, but they they are they look fantastic. Fant and look, she's the queen of presentation. Is that, that not beautiful? It looks awesome. So I was just telling our viewers about Overland Cove, and I said that you would of course fill in a lot more detail than I yeah. did. Yeah. Well, sales have been fantastic out there because it's it's uh, it meets such a big market you know it it's perfect for the young professionals the uh, the single parents right. and the empty nesters and in Huntsville you know there's a lot of people that are interested in scaling down sure. and they want to yeah. get rid of the big house and there's just not that many carefree uh, mm -hmm. lifestyle places to live That's and right. so Overland Cove is is going is going fantastic uh, we're in the process of developing uh, phase two yep. and so uh, we're doing something a little bit different in phase two we still are going to have our townhomes we're still going to have our garden mm -hmm. homes and our garden homes are just such a neat plan because they're all private they've got fenced in courtyard areas and you know if somebody wants to still have a place to do a garden sure. and we even have some of our customers who put in small swimming pools yeah. in their backyard. So it's really, really neat. It's the best of all worlds. <laughs> it is. But then we have one little area that we're doing single family mm -hmm. homes as well. A uh, little smaller homes than what we normally build. And it backs up to a woody tree line. So so we've got it all this yeah. next phase. And uh, location, location, oh location. And that is an incredible it's a, it's a great location. I mean, you're right down the uh, street from Providence. You're right yeah. down the street from Bridge Street. and You just get right on five six. You know, right, so. and the location is going to get better because there's so much growth in that area. Mm -hmm. You know, I donated five acres on the back of Overland Cove to the city, right. and they're going to be building a nature trail. So literally, in the future, mm -hmm. if you're living in Overland Cove, you'd be able to uh, walk down through a common area, hit the nature trail, ride your bike to Providence to get, you know, an ice cream so cone awesome. or whatever, yeah. and then that nature trail is going to connect all the way to Bridge Street. So the trail system that they've got is. Just just going to do nothing but make Overland Cove just a, a, a premium community to live in. And what most of our customers love about it, it's it's resort style living here in Huntsville, Alabama. It really is. Our parent, my parents did it. Our best friends did it. They exactly. they love the carefree style of living. Exactly. Yes. And the schools too. I didn't mention that they yeah. are in an excellent right down, school system. Yeah, right yeah. down the street. So, so you can go to our website woodlandhomes.com and uh, check out all of our communities. Or you can simply uh, pick up a telephone, give us a call at 256-830-9000. Uh, and for your wonderful recipes. You can log on to woodlandhomes.com. And I also want to thank all of our sponsors. Absolutely, always just the best sponsors, and we appreciate them. Absolutely. And if you have a home for sale, or you're looking at selling your home, uh, we've opened up a residential real estate division so we can help you sell your home. And also, if you have a home and you wanna do a trade-in, we've got a great trade-in program. So give us a call, better yet, just come out and see us. And uh, come here, Kathy, Mom. I know you're sitting <laughs> over here. Come on over here and-, we, and You gotta uh, eat this oh, delicious yeah. stuff. Thank you for having me. Thank you for being here. Oh. We had fun and these look delicious. Thank I can't you. wait to eat them. All right. I'm getting ready to dig in. I know. So we'll, we'll see y'all later. <laughs>